welcome to the Bedfordshire Battle of the Bands 2022. I am Ben Batoni and I'm your host for this evening. I am area manager for Inspiring Music and I've been part of this Battle of the Bands for, since its inception with Dave Probert. We're so pleased to be bringing you this event from the Jim Marshall Arena in the stables in Milton Keynes. It is an opportunity for students to um, develop their ability to work in a professional environment. It's wonderful to watch them come into the arena to see the environment, maybe look a little bit scared, and then as they get onto that stage, to have the opportunity to turn on the sound system, to turn on the lights, turn on the haze machine, and then make some music. During the event, you will see the performances from the bands, and then also you will see them backstage in the green room talking about their experience and their journey to tonight's event and how they've enjoyed it. Um, once they've performed their music, we will have a judgment of this performance as well from the Ampt Amptil Festival and Mark Freire. Everyone who takes part in tonight's event is a winner. All of them, absolutely without question. And we're very, very proud of the lot. But with this judgment, we also do have a prize. And TT Rockstars have very kindly donated a Kawaii keyboard for the winning school. So there will be something for the winning school to be able to use for years to come to keep and continue inspiring students with their music education. We start off with two GCSE age bands, and then we move on to other bands that have majority of sixth form students in them. I hope that you enjoy this performance as much as we will do. And without any further ado, let's go to the bands and the performances. To start us off, we have a band from Wooten, GCSE band from Wooten, and they're going to be performing Killing in the Name, a radio edit version, I might add, and Enchanted Lies. Over to Wooten, best of luck. Thank you. 
lost in the world Let the shadows send me Some of those that work forces are the same that burn crosses. Some of those that work forces are the same that burn crosses. Some of those that work forces are the same that burn crosses. Some of those that burn crosses. Well, the saint that burn crosses. Uh! Uh, Killing in the name of. Killing in the name of. Well, they do what they told you. And 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 they do what they told you. Better do what they told ya. 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 Those who die are justified. Bury your bays like a chosen wife. Those who die are justified. Bury your bays like a chosen wife. Those who die are justified. Bury your bays like a chosen wife. Those who die are justified. Wearing your badge like your chosen wife. Come on! Some of those who work forces are the same that burn crosses. Some of those who work forces are the same that burn crosses. Some of those who work forces are the same that burn crosses. Some of those who work forces are the same that burn crosses. Do what they told you. You're in control, and they do what they told you. You're under control, and they do what they told you. You're under control, and they do what they told you. Under control, and they do what they told you. You're under control, and they do what they told you. Under control, and they do what they told you. You're under control, do what they told you. So let they do what they told you. I want to, 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 I want to,
I won't do what you tell me. I won't do, I won't do what you tell me. I won't, I won't do what you tell me. I won't do, I won't do what you tell me. I won't do, I won't do what you tell me. I won't do, I won't do what you tell me. I won't do, I won't do what you tell me. I won't do, I won't do what you tell me. I won't do, I won't do what you tell me. I won't do, I won't do what you tell me. I won't do, I won't do what you tell me. Yeah, come on! Blossom Stains is our band name. Yes, and what do you play? Guitar and bass for two different songs. There you go. Oh, oh hi. Uh, I'm the front man. Sing up. Beat I'm Hannah and I play guitar. Jack, I play the drums. But uh, yeah, we started me and Russo. Drums, yeah. I was we were playing drums and then he found a bass, started playing it. Yeah. He's not the bassist anymore, but you know. <laughs> that's a long <laughs> story. I've been, been easy replaced. <laughs> but uh, and then we invited these two and then band. Yeah. Band happened, yeah. Killing in the name by Rage Against the Machine. Um, yeah. Original. And Enchanted Lies. And, and Enchanted Lies, which is an original that we made and only did tonight. Uh, only what? did for the first <laughs> time at school today. Yeah. That is true, yeah. We did write it. That, um, sounds, that sounds good, yeah. So yeah, that's been the Blossom Stains. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Well done, Wooten. You did it. I didn't know before you weren't entirely sure if you were completely ready, but you have proven that you can. You must be really confident with that. Well done. Very proud of you all. So over to our next band. We've got the Goldington Academy bands next, and they're going to be performing Old Yellow Bricks by the Arctic Monkeys and Feeling Good.
Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Hello, we are Tenue de Soiree. Uh, that's just formal attire in French, as you can see. My name's Max Alcock, and I play the drums. I'm Milo Harris. <laughs> I play I play the beautiful guitar. My name is Izzy Delaney. I'm the singer, and I also play the guitar. My name's Thomas Hudson, and I play the bass guitar. We like to experiment with a range of styles to see what suits us best. At the moment, we're focusing on like indie rock and indie pop, but we are open to like doing all sorts of genres and styles. Uh, tonight we'll be playing Old Yellow Bricks by the Arctic Monkeys because we just love the song and we feel as though Arctic Monkeys is a real kind of staple in the indie pop uh, kind of environment. The other song we're playing is Feeling Good by Muse. Uh, we've played it once before and we all feel as though it's a wonderful song to come and play and show off our talent. Wunderbar. Thanks guys! Thanks guys. Thank you! Uh, vote, vote Team Rolling Team. Vote, vote for us! <laughs> Vote ten de soirée. Oui. Remember it. <laughs> Genial. We've been so thank you so much. We've been Goldington. Yeah, you've been Sorry. brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a wonderful performance and it's clear that you'd all sorted your costumes out before you turned up on stage. Well done. It looked amazing as well. So over to our third band now and our third band is Redbourne Upper School and they're going to perform Still Into You and Don't Stop Me Now. Ecstasy, so 
stop me, don't stop me, don't stop me. Don't stop me, don't stop me, ooh. Don't stop me, don't stop me, have a good time, good time. Don't stop me, don't stop me, oh.
Mojo. Okay. We are Mojo. We are Mojo. Yeah, let you do it. Josh, who are you? I'm, I'm Josh and I play piano. I am Olivia and I am the singer. I'm Matthew, I play bass. I'm George and I play guitar. I'm Joe and I play the drums. We all have very different tastes. Yeah, we all very... Because you like, you're obsessed with Stevie Wonder. I am obsessed with Stevie Wonder. Five. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Josh, <laughs> <laughs> Josh is a bit into emo music. Uh, <laughs> Most of us are in the jazz band, yeah, apart, from, jazz band apart from George. Oh, <laughs> me, George, Josh are all in the same Spanish, the Spanish class, class, so we just speak yeah, to Yeah, same Spanish class, same things. jazz band. We rehearse at school at on school. Mojo Fridays. Yeah, on Mojo, Mojo Fridays. Fridays. Mojo, Fridays. Um, Mojo Mondays. On lunch. Yeah, we, Every now and then. On, on Monday lunches, and when Friday I go from book to practice. On Wednesday sometimes. I don't know. Just Wednesday So, today we are going to be playing Still Into You by Paramore and Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. Yeah. In the opposite I'm order. Me. In the opposite order, yeah. Yeah. Don't stop us, because we are having a really good time. And still into <laughs> you. Well, Joe really, really likes Paramore, and so do I, so we both yeah, chose yeah, that song. Yeah, I mean, Joe suggested it. And it gives, oh God, yeah, it gives Joe a chance it. to show off. And yeah, yeah, it yeah. gives Joe yeah. a chance just to show off. Yeah, but he just just a Joe yeah. likes that bit. It's his favourite song, yeah. so... Hopefully we'll yeah, be able hopefully. to do pub gigs yeah. and stuff at some pub point. Yeah, some of us will be out of uni at that point. Especially yeah. I feel I was quite lucky because I just got sucked into a band with like the best drummer in the <laughs> Yeah, we the Joe who plays yeah. everything, the best George, singer George and then George wasn't the here originally, so but he was then just, accepted I just, into I, just, I can't say no to this opportunity. So we yeah, yeah, this big opportunity. Yeah. We indoctrinated yeah. him. Yeah. I just got sucked in. Yeah. It was great. We are We are Mojo! Wow, that this is this is wow. Well, I have to say, Redbourne, there is no question you are the diva queens. Well done. Freddie was back in the room. So on to our fourth band now, and we have Bedford College. Bedford College are going to sing What's Going On and Clocks. Good luck, Bedford College.
Hello, uh, we're Daybreak. My name's Jake Woolley, I'm the singer. Is it me? Hello, I'm Charlie Conquest. I am the piano player. Hello, I'm Harry Breed and I'm the bass player. Hi, I'm Rhys Beatty Smith. I'm the other piano player. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, my name's George. I am the drummer and backing vocals. Let's go. I'm Seb Jolly and I am the lead guitarist. Why are you so scared? Yeah, you are, Seb. Yeah, you are. <laughs> go again, go again, you got this. I'm Seb Jolly and I'm the lead guitarist. <laughs> 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 oh no. <laughs> uh, we do anything Jake tells us to do. Anything Jake tells us to do. He comes with a song and he gives us something we play it. We don't yeah, have any. Is it like. It's old in, rock. Yeah, old rock. Oh, it's old rock. That's what you want. That's our drum I just hit drums, isn't it? Facts. If you're seeing this, Chris Martin. <laughs> Just know that I love you. Right. Yeah, so Coldplay, Foo Fighters, and Radiohead for me personally. Foo Fighters, I think that's the yeah. band in yeah, general. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we um we all four we all formed in Bedford College. First of all, it started off with me talking to this lovely specimen over here on the stairs. I was like, "What do you play?" He goes, "Yeah, I know." I was like, "Wow, well, same." So then we actually started off as a four-piece band. It was me, Harry, Reese. And Jake. You're so and got 10 stories. <laughs> Get to the point. Yeah. yeah. And then basically we just started playing from there. We met at Bedford College. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. literally yeah. it. There we go. I already knew Seb before because we've played in a couple bands before. And then when we decided that we were going to pick the same course at Bedford College, we were like, wow, this is amazing. Uh, and then we saw these four play. And we were like, damn, we need to actually start playing with them because we mm. aren't really doing much, are we? <laughs> oh, we need to start playing with them because they're like writing their own cool songs and stuff. So 
We kind of like piggybacked on. And then we took them in. We took them back to our success. Literally every one. We rehearse hard. Yeah, every day three we hours, have yeah. at least an hour and a half of yeah. rehearsing. And in a place called the arena, which is it just a perfect call. Yeah, scary. Okay. Uh, we chose an original "What's Going On" and "Clocks" by Coldplay. Uh, "What's Going On" was the first song we wrote together. It was at a meeting for about two weeks. We wrote a song together. Yeah, and it's become like our anthem. Yeah, uh, it's an anthem. Yeah, it's something easy yeah. people can sing along with. Short, upbeat, happy. You know, <laughs> and then clocks because we like Coldplay. And <laughs> it's a fun song to do. Five years. 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 That was a brilliant example of teamwork, working together and musical passion. Bedford College, you should be very proud of yourselves. Well done. So we're now moving on to band number five. And we have band number five from Van Dyke. And they're going to do Runaway Baby and About You Now. It was so easy that I Please don't go away, go away. When, I play, when I play I never say, I never say. I never say. 
back and I'm Madison Bishop and I'm the lead singer. I'm Ellen Baxter and I play piano and do backing vocals. Uh, I'm Toby Arnold, I'm the bass player and very occasionally backing vocals but... We'll let that slide. I'm Ben Lucas and I'm lead guitarist. Uh, my name's Dare Quick and I play the drums. Well originally we, were, we joined together to try and be a wedding band and we, well, we still are trying to do that, we're trying to get gigs as well. Yeah. So pretty much anything that you'd see at a wedding, I mean pop, other general sorts of things, songs as well. Well, we do like Stevie Wonder and Bruno Mars. They, yeah, they seem to be yeah. the ones. Stevie that we, Wonder's a big one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it just, it's just nice for all of us to have like, good roles. Because Stevie has a nice range of instruments when it comes to like being prominent with them. So yeah. At school. Yeah. We're, we're all at school, school we're together. Still, we're still in school. Yeah. No, we're, we're all on the same music program, so we, we all do uh, the same course. And so at one point we just were told to do uh, a session musician set which we did see you on the song Science of Delivered and we sort of haven't really stopped playing since. Yeah, we yeah. thought we'd take it outside of school, so that's what we did. And now we're back with band. <laughs> yeah. First song was about you now and uh, we actually did that for our course and, and simply because when playing it we absolutely loved doing it and I think we can all, all agree with that, well, that was generally yeah. nothing, we just absolutely loved it. And then the second one, uh, Runaway Baby, I mean that's a banger, we absolutely love playing that too. <laughs> just a crowd favourite and one that uh, we can really get into when we're playing it. Yeah. I mean, people yeah. walk past the room and you just see them celebrating like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're that song. Yeah. Just that one song, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to stick together and carry on doing this outside of school and see where it takes us in yeah. five maybe, years, I guess. Maybe write some originals. Yes, yeah, yeah. that is true. We definitely yeah. need to, don't we? <laughs> now, hopefully after uni and everything we'll still be together. Because yeah. Yeah. some of us are doing different plans. so. That aims to try and keep in contact and everything. So we yeah. definitely will. Yeah. Good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We trust it. Ben, don't get Utah. Wow, I'm blown away. That was amazing. What a sound, what voices, what teamwork. I absolutely love that. Van Dyke, you should be very proud of yourselves. Next, we're on to Shambrook, band number six. And Shambrook are going to perform. The Pretender and Holiday.
also the name of when we did a school competition yeah, there was yeah. a typo on the set list yeah. and it was labeled <laughs> soup and not soul um, so that's another one and then I'm Molly and I do vocals and a guitar yeah. sometimes and then I'm Phoebe I'm the lead guitarist I'm Penelope I'm the drummer and I'm, 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 I'm Harry the, yeah. the bassist yeah. 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 we play lots of genres yeah the good stuff yeah. I was new at school and um, yeah. I had these two playing a Nirvana yeah. cover outside a school mm. door. And it smells then... like Teen Spirit, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, basic stuff, yeah. Is there another Nirvana song I haven't heard of? Uh, um, any other songs about I them? I think we've tried to play Heart Shaped Box and then you... <laughs> <laughs> no, oh... Um, went awfully. No, but I remember um, Mr O'Connor walking past and being like, they need a singer. And yeah, being like, yeah. great. Yeah, and then we asked him about a bass guitarist and... Yeah, and then Harry like, was Harry, supplied. Yeah. <laughs> When I met the band of Shambrook outside before they came in to perform, I have to say, they were very shy. They've just blown me away. Where did that come from? That was amazing. What a turnaround from being shy and not confident to being out on the stage and showing us that performance. Well done, Shambrook. Amazing work. Over to our final band of the evening then. And Cedars are going to play Running Out 
I'm Machine Head Boy.
our name, our band name is Static. So my name is Lucy Raffi. I'm the lead singer. Um, this here, Benjamin Curtis. Uh, he is our drummer. This guy is Sam, although he is a mute, doesn't talk. Um, it's actually stuck to his head, but he plays the bass. Um, Aaron, funny story, <laughs> has been in our band for two days because you're a hero and you saved us. Because our lead guitarist actually has COVID. So shout out to Joe Walton. Here is Montgomery. Hi. Um, short, also Monty for short, who is our rhythm guitarist and we love him so much. Yeah, Ego Trip. Ego, Ego Trip. Trip. Oh, yeah. Best band in the entire world. Mm. Uh, so I'm music teacher's band. Uh, we love them. Yeah, it's just elite band. We played one of their songs tonight. So. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Mr. Smith. Yeah, shout and Miss Ingold as well. Shout out Mr. Smith and Miss Ingold. Brilliant teachers. We love yeah. you guys. Me, Ben, Sa Sam and Joe. Before Sam had the thing stuck to his head, we have been friends <laughs> since year nine. So what were we, like 13, 14? Yeah? Yeah. Um, we have been friends since then. And I actually had to work my way into the band because you guys didn't want me. Yeah. And then I worked my way in and they were like, you know what? She's pretty good. Yeah, I know you do like 8% of all the work anyway, so... I write the song! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, you do like just anyway, stuff. Oh. we met um, Monty. Full stop. <laughs> <laughs> we met you. I think I met you and I was in love. <laughs> Um, I was in a musical for the school and he was playing the guitar and then I met Aaron a year ago I think. So uh, I came <laughs> to the guys with the idea to start an acapella group and we've been practicing in our lunch times you know we call it lunchtime beats and you know we sort of make them up on the spot we don't really rehearse them we sort of you know come up with it. I think we should just make it. We can do one now we can. <laughs> I'm in a purple room and it's got a sofa It's really comfy So, yeah, that's, that's a little taster <laughs> um, Nice Yay. 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 So, <laughs> Well done Cedars, that was absolutely brilliant What an exciting performance so now we come to the judging part of the evening. And to do that for us this evening, we have Mark Frary from the Amptel Festival. Mark is the head of artist booking for the Rock Festival, and, and he's used to uh, organizing large scale events and choosing artists and taking an awful lot of time to decide who should be performing at events. So Mark, thank you very much for being here with us this evening. Really appreciate your support. Um, and I believe that you're gonna give us some information about how you felt that the evening went, the bands. Well, thanks Ben for inviting me to do this. I mean, I've been booking artists for the Amtil Festival for, for 13 years now and been going to live events myself, music events, gigs, festivals ever since I was the same age as uh, some of the people who've been performing tonight. And I'm always in incredibly amazed whenever I'm asked to do anything like this about the, the talent that Bedfordshire has to offer. I mean, but maybe I, I shouldn't be really, because, you know, after all, the Billie Eilishes, the Ed Sheerans of this world, they all had to start somewhere. And many of them will have started playing when they were at school. The people of today, the talent of today in Bedfordshire schools could be the headliners tomorrow. And I'm not joking about that. That's how people start in the music business. That's absolutely brilliant. That's exactly what we want to hear, isn't it? Everyone out there watching wants to be able to hear where this can go next. And uh, I'm really grateful for Mark and his support and his experience um, being able to bring that to bear. So Mark, would you like to tell us about each of the bands? Just talk us through the evening for you. Yeah, I, th I think, I mean, first of all, I mean, it's it's always gonna be impossible to choose. I mean, the, you know, there's so much talent there. Um, you know, they've all done incredibly. I was, I was particularly pleased to see so many powerful female lead singers as well. I mean, that that's so amazing. I mean, it's always a challenge we have 
getting diverse lineups for, for the festival. And uh, you know, anything that can bring more diversity into, into the festival business has got to be welcome. And you know, I really, really appreciated seeing some of these incredible voices out there. Um, it has been a hard choice. Um, I did want to sort of make a few comments about um, each band because I think you know each of them had had something important and and and, and very very useful to to share. I think you know that that um, you know it's not just about that one performance on the day. They they all will do well in the future, I'm sure. But I just wanted to give some pointers as well about each one. Excellent. That, I mean that's brilliant. I'm sure that they will take hold of those pointers and use them in the future to help them develop as a band and individuals. So starting with our first band, a band from Wooten, GCSE students, what did you think of their performance? Well, what I would say on that, I think, you know, choosing Killing in the Name by Rage Against the Machine is always going to be a brave choice. I mean, that is an incredibly difficult song to, to pull off. I mean, particularly with that, uh, you know, that repeated sort of uh, monotone sort of uh, voice in it but I think you know the band from Wooten really pulled that off and they worked together really well there's some great sort of grungy guitar sounds in there as well I think um, you know I'm really tipping them to do well in the future I mean they're a young band I think we'll be hearing a lot from them in the future amazing that's wonderful to hear so we had our second band uh, GCSE band from Goldington this time and um, what did you think of them well, um, I mean, the, the lead singer of, of the band from Goldington Academy, I mean, what a talented musician she is. I mean, you know, not only singing, but playing keyboards and, and guitar as well. Um, I think uh, perhaps the, the choice of the Arctic Monkey song wasn't perhaps the best one to showcase um, her voice on that, but um, Muse is feeling good for, for the follow-up. I mean, that, that, was, that was amazing. I, I really loved that performance. I mean, Muse is a, a, a favourite band of mine, so it was really good to hear that. So, you know, I think uh, that they'll do well in the future as well. Excellent. Really good to hear. So next up, we have Redbourne Upper School. What did you think of them? Well, what can I say about that? I mean, I have to declare an interest here. I mean, I've got uh, two, two kids at Redbourne and probably another one to come through there as well. But, you know, obviously I'm not going to let that uh, sway my decision. Um, I mean, it was another brave choice of song, I think. I mean, um, Don't Stop Me Now uh, by Queen. I mean, it's got one of the, you know, it had the, one of the greatest vocalists of all time at its helm in Freddie Mercury. So I think, you know, it's a brave choice. But uh, that lead singer, I mean, where did that voice come from? I mean, she is absolutely incredible. I think uh, the band and are really slick as well. I think they've even just added a new member. So to, to do that sort of polished performance, even with a sort of an extra member of the lineup, I think is incredible. So, so I think, you know, a really nicely rounded performance and everyone pulled together really well to deliver something fantastic. And so over to that band for Bedford College, what did you think of the boys? Well, um, you know, I'm a keyboard player myself. I mean, I started playing the, the organ when I was much younger. But so, you know, I always love um, bands that put keyboards to the fore. And, uh, you know, this band's got two keyboard players. So, you know, even better. So I think, um, you know, they're, they're going to have to do a lot to make sure they have a balanced sound, I think, with so many people on stage. But uh, Clocks by Coldplay was, a, was an inspired choice for them. And it really allowed them to showcase the lead singer's amazing voice. So for Van Dyke Upper School, what were your thoughts about the, that band? I think, you know, uh, what really stands out for me here is that this was a, a team performance. I mean, I couldn't really sort of uh, single out any one player there. I think, you know, they all pulled together really well, did amazing individual performances that, that added together to something even bigger than the individuals. Um, I think, um, you know, some great guitar work in um, About You Now, but uh, I mean, the lead singer's voice on, on Runaway Baby was just amazing. I mean, she has such a powerful voice. It was, a, it was really quite moving to hear it. And then on to our initially very shy band who came out and performed very unlike their shy approach to the stage from Shambrook. Yeah, for me, I mean, I absolutely love the lead singer's voice in this. I mean, you know, so often you get, um, you know, very sort of, very similar voices in lots of these school bands but I think you know that lead singer has got such a distinctive voice and it was really sort of rocking I thought um, you know Holiday by Green Day it really sort of showcased her, her talent there and uh, I mean not many bands would uh, would try and do the pretender by the Foo Fighters I mean I know it's a you know it's a a bad year for the band and maybe a, a tribute to Taylor Hawkins but um, it was it, it really rocked and I, I wanted to get down into the mosh pit for that one <laughs> Brilliant. 
And then on to our final band of the evening, Cedars Upper School. Uh, yeah, I always admire bands that uh, perform original compositions in these Battle of the Bands uh, competitions because it's, um, you know, you have to win the audience over every time rather than sort of relying on, on the fame of the band that's performed the original. And um, Machine Headed Boy was, was just an incredible performance, I think. And that, that's the other point I'd like to make here is that, you know, it's not just about the music, it's about the, the stage performance as well. And, and just having, you know, the head, the television head was, was just inspired. So, so I really loved that. Excellent. Thank you so much for your comments to the schools. I hope that everyone takes on board those comments and thinks about how they can use that to support them going forwards. So we come to the judging end now, the finale of all of this hard work and effort from the students and the schools. And uh, we're now going to have Mark's opinion. And there have been many different opinions over the years on the judging and whether it's been this band, whether it's been that band. But I'm very grateful to Mark for giving, giving us his opinion on who has won this year's Bedfordshire Battle of the Band. So over to you, Mark. Uh, thanks for that, Ben. I mean, I mean, it was incredibly difficult. I mean, you know, you know there's some stellar performances in there. And I think, you know, everybody who took part did amazingly. And I think we're going to be hearing a lot more from these bands over the coming years and I'm sure we'll see them you know doing gigs and uh, playing uh, on festival stages as well um, when it came down to it I think there were you know three or four bands that uh, that could have uh, could have done it on the night I think um, for me it, it was a tie between perhaps uh, Redbourne, Sharnbrook and Cedars with perhaps Van Dyke coming in a, a close fourth but um, you know Ben has told me that I need to, to pick one of those so I, th I think um, when it comes down to it the winner for me on the night uh, was Cedars. Uh, they were super tight, they had a really infectious jangly guitar sound, they worked really together on stage and I love the fact that they did something original on the night. So well done. So massive well done to Cedars. Um, and thank you very, very much to everyone for taking part. Um, it's been a wonderful experience to be here at the stables and to listen to all of these performances and to see everyone's engagement. Thank you to everyone. And I think tonight we're all winners, but Cedars, extra congratulations for getting Mark's vote tonight on uh, um, the winning the Battle of the Bands 2022. So we come to the thank yous part of the evening. This event would not happen without quite a few people to thank. So here we go. First up, inspiring music from Central Bedfordshire um, and Bed music for Bedford Borough. Thank you very much for sponsoring this event through the Arts Council grant, making sure that we put students of this area first and giving them a wonderful opportunity. Also, thank you to the Stables for their absolutely wonderful technical support in the environment and the uh, staff have been brilliant, giving us a chance to give the students a professional environment to work in. Thank you too to TT Rockstar, the Maths app, who have supported this event and have been supporters for a few years for us of events, um, musical events of this sort. Um, they have uh, given us the money to be able to provide a Kwai keyboard to the winning band. So thank you so much to TT Rockstar. None of this would be possible without the support of an amazing group of dedicated music teachers from each of the schools. I've had communications with loads of schools recently and those that are able to be here and those that weren't able to make it this time round have all been working very hard to support the students and to make sure that they have performance opportunities. Um, I know those students who take part tonight have been very grateful to their teachers and I know that those that will be taking part in future events are also likely to be very very grateful to their teachers thank you to everyone who's done that and to the bands weren't they amazing what a talented bunch of people thank you for making mark's job very difficult with the judging this evening thank you for giving us a wonderful evening of music i hope that everyone has really enjoyed that uh, so we look forward to a, an event again next year. Let's hope that even more bands take part in the event next year and we should be back at the stables and we will release a date as soon as possible. Thank you all and good night.